I've been defending the people of Baltimore all day because I stand with them 100%, and I'm tired of people calling them savages, and I'm tired of people calling them thugs, telling them that violence isn't going to solve anything, that it's not the answer, and trying to make it seem as simple as writing your government. We've tried that before. It's not as simple as saying, hey, could you guys maybe stop killing us? That's not working. Petitions aren't working. We petitioned for Darren Wilson to be indicted federally, and that didn't happen. Petition GoFundMe for him not to get that money that was raised for him, but he still retired with half a million dollars. So the time for petitioning is over. The protests in Baltimore started out peacefully. They were met with ignorance and violence. People chanting Black Lives Matter were met with people chanting no they don't. So no, they're not going to be peaceful. No, they're not going to stop destroying property because they are hurt and they are angry and they're tired of seeing the same thing happen over and over again. Stop trying to make it seem like the solution is simple because it's not. Something needs to change and nobody is listening to us. And people feel like if they don't yell, they won't be heard. Which is proven to be true because none of the peaceful protests that have been going on have ever made it to the news until a riot starts. So if you don't have any other suggestion aside from be civil, be peaceful, this isn't the way to change it, you're not helping us. If you're not disgusted about black lives lost, you're disgusted about a CVS on TV burning, you're not helping. You're disgusted about property loss, but a, a young man laying in the street for four hours dead doesn't disgust you. A seven-year-old girl with a bullet through her head because the cops raided the wrong house doesn't disgust you. A mentally ill man tasered to death while in police custody doesn't disgust you. A man whose spine was severed while in police custody doesn't disgust you. But some broken windows is what disgusts you? You're not helping, and you don't get to have an opinion if you've never been in the situation to feel like your son, daughter, brother, or father could be next. You can't tell people who have been oppressed for years how they should feel and how they should react. This is not something that's going to be solved simply, and you cannot, you absolutely cannot tell people that they need to be peaceful when being peaceful hasn't worked all these years. They don't teach us much about black history in school, but I'm sure that you've seen pictures of those peaceful protesters being met with attack dogs, fire hoses, and beaten with police batons. It's not as simple as being peaceful. We need to come together and find a change in a different way. Meanwhile, the people in Baltimore have every right to be angry. 